So yesterday, while checking our mail, my husband was so surprised at the pile of magazines that I had received, and I was thinking about it, and I've gotten free magazines since probably late 2009. I did a video in 2010 on how to get free magazines, and since then I've gotten a couple of responses and emails about how I got so many magazines free in the mail. So I figured this morning I would do an update because I am still getting so many magazines for free from numerous companies just by following a couple of real simple uh, blogs and Facebook pages. And they truly are free. I never get charged anything. I never have to give out uh, credit card information. I just have to give my mailing address. Um, so, <clears throat> overall, very pleased, very surprised of the quality of magazines that I'm getting for free. And no, I'm not getting paid to say this. I just thought that I would share it for all of my new subscribers and all my new friends out there because this is just, it's boggles my mind, you know, how you can get stuff for free. So um, let me go ahead and share with you what I have gotten for free. First off, I will share with you what I normally do because I try to be very organized and I will write down all of my magazines that are coming in and all of my expiration dates so that I know that if I really like a magazine, I can um, either pay for a renewal or just let it go. Now here's another quick tip this, that I actually do for some of these magazines is here we drink a lot of coke products which I know they're bad for you we're trying to stop but in the past we have now with those coupon coupons with the codes that are underneath the caps I um, plug them into their website and if after you save up so many codes you can get a free one year subscription to um, quite a few magazines actually I've gotten some for my husband I've gotten uh, quite a few for myself and um, I'm going to continue to do that. I'm trying to cut back on, you know, the soda. But every now and again, the kids night like a Sprite. And um, you know how it is. So that's another quick tip. Always use your codes if you drink Coke products. And also, like, um, the Special K cereal. If you save those codes, you can get free magazine subscriptions. Um, a lot of companies are starting to do that now. Uh, you get on one of their points programs and you can get uh, a lot of cool rewards in the mail. So this is how I stay organized with most of my magazines. A lot of them um, looks like will be expiring uh, next year. So that's pretty pretty good I think. So over here I do get uh, Teen Vogue. This is L. I just got the um, subscription for L. I'm not too sure how much I like this magazine. There's a lot of ads in this one, but it was for free, and it doesn't run out until September 15th. So I have a long um, subscription to that one. I get Shape. I get Style Watch. I got Style Watch through my Coke points. Um, Cosmo which was a free freebie on one of the sites that I follow, Ladies Home Journal. I do get um, the Practical Horsemen, my daughters, and I look through that. A lot of great information, but then we're horse people. So I do get the um, Traditional Home in Town and Country. I don't know if I will be renewing those. They're not really... Um, they're not really my cup of tea. They don't really fit into our lifestyle. We're more of a relaxed household here. They're still fun to look at. The pictures are still great, but eh. Um, good housekeeping, of course, is an oldie but a goodie. Better homes and gardens. 
Over here, I get Martha Stewart Living. I really enjoy that one. Real simple. I love that one, and I will continue to get it as long as I can. I got the real simple through my Coke points. Um, very rarely will you see a free subscription to real simple. Uh, you do see quite a few come up throughout the year for Martha Stewart um, following some blogs. And they always, you know, let you know right away if those are available for free. I just got the subscription for um, Rachel Ray every day. Now, this is just like a three-month period um, for the holidays. But um, I'm liking the, the holiday issues. She's got some good ideas. Now, this is my fun gossipy magazine, U.S. Weekly. Um, this doesn't, this is long. This doesn't run out until March 15th. So that's a long one. A lot of um, gossipy articles. Forbes we got, but eh, my husband might glance through them. We don't really follow the big power players. A lot of good information if you want to, you know, see what's happening around the globe. So, and um, that one runs out October 14th. And this is the pile that I received yesterday in the mail, all at once. It's a good thing we have a big mailbox over here, because um, that's a lot of reading. That's going to take me a while to go through. I do also get the Legos, the Lego magazine, which is free for my son. Um, he has all of them in his bedroom. Those are great. That's his thing right now is Minecraft and Legos. So he had to have the magazine. I'm still on the look for a good magazine for my 10-year-old daughter. She, um, she's girly, but she's turning it. She follows her sister around, her older sister. So she's turning into be like a little tomboy. So I'm really having a hard time picking the right magazine for her so if you have any ideas leave them for me and I will try to find those magazines and check them out for my little girl um so as you can see pretty much a great pile of magazines a lot of good variety uh something for everybody in our household that we're able to get um for free I follow hiptosave.com and um, there's quite a bit on Facebook. Um, I have a lot of the uh, coupon saving sites on Facebook that I follow. And every time a freebie comes up, they will post it on their Facebook page. So you have numerous opportunities throughout the day to get um, a subscription. And sometimes it's a year-long subscription. Sometimes it's a two-year-long subscription. It all depends on what kind of magazine it is. Um, and yet again, this is just how I keep organized. This works best for me so I can see which ones, you know, expire fast and then don't. Also, uh, this is October, and I wanted to ask you a question. I am looking for some good old-fashioned scary books to read, um, and I can't find any. I know Stephen King just came out with one, but it actually follows um, that movie with Jack Nicholson. It's like a continuation of that one. So, but so far, that's the only scary one, so to speak, that I can find. So if you have any great uh, mo book recommendations that follow the October Halloween theme, mostly I like ha haunted house ones, but I cannot find a good haunted house book to read. It's like they don't exist anymore. Um, so that, I'm so still searching for that book, but this morning I wanted to share with you, as I was organizing my, magaz organizing my magazines, all of these great magazines that you can get for free. There's so many of them. Um, usually when I am done with mine, um, I'll either pass them along to my mother-in-law, my mom takes some, um, or, I mean, you can always throw them in the recycling bin, because at least in my, my county, you can recycle the magazines now. Or you can take them to your local hospital because how many times have you been in the hospital, the waiting room, the ER, and they have all those old magazines 
that are from years gone by and they're just gross. Their pages have been torn and everything. So, you know, that's what I sometimes I do is I will bring a big stack of recently months magazines to our local hospital and they are so appreciative. Just a little magazine, a new issue magazine in your local waiting room, ER waiting room, really makes the time go by and it's interesting and it's up to date. It's the little things, everybody. Do the little things for each other. I hope you guys are having a great day. So far, it's sunny. It's Florida. It's still hot and warm here. Not really October weather for us. But we're going to make the most of it. So whatever you do, make it a great one. Bye-bye.